Welcome to this EGRO research video investigating coleus optimal phosphorus rates. So what are the optimum phosphorus rates to use for growing coleus? In an experiment, we used six inch pots, a substrate that contained 80% peat and 20% perlite. We added a wetting agent and enough limestone to achieve a pH of around 6.0. We used a customized blend of technical grade fertilizer salts that achieved two and a half, five, 10, 15, 20, or 40 parts per million phosphorus. We used two cultivars, Salsa Verde and Wall Street. We grew the plants for eight weeks and then collected data that included plant height, plant diameter, shoot dry weight, a combined growth index, and we also conducted leaf tissue analysis of the leaf tissue. So what did we find? We found that plant height, diameter, and growth index increased in a linear fashion as the phosphorus rate increased from two and a half to 10 parts per million P. We also found that growth plateaued from 15 to 40 parts per million P. So there was no additional growth benefit of increasing the rate above 15 parts per million P. Here is Wall Street. You can see that the plants with two and a half parts per million are smaller, and then the plant growth increased. That increase again happened up to about 15 parts per million for Wall Street. So with the analysis of the data for Wall Street, using up to 15 parts per million P increased growth. It was slightly lower for Salsa Verde, and that was about 14 parts per million P rates higher than the 14 to 15 part per million P didn't provide any additional benefits. So you're basically wasting your money. Lower rates of seven and a half to 10 parts per million can be used as a method to control growth. We would like to thank the project supporters that include the plant breeders who gave us cuttings and also inputs from various suppliers. The project team included researchers from NC State, University of Kentucky, NC Department of Agriculture, and we'd also like to thank the American Floral Endowment for project support.